Okay, so this is a true life story about my ex-neighbor and how he figured out a genius way to get chicks to pour in left and right and get action literally every night from a different chick. He basically went from unhappily married to a new 20-year-old college chick every night. This is his true story. So we live in a major college town in Southern California, and we live in a pretty sweet location, near a lot of great sites, and about two miles away from a major college university. My neighbor moved in about four years ago. He was married and they had one kid. They both worked in the tech industry, so they were pulling in some pretty sweet money. They owned a house and they had two nice cars. The guy literally had it all. Well, except for the fact that his wife gained a ton of weight after having the baby, that is. This was totally eating away at him. His mission was to go to college, get a great job, and have that trophy wife for a good 25 years or so. Turns out, he only had that trophy wife for about two years or so. Life was becoming a depression for him. It was literally the same thing every day. Get up, go to work, and come home to this. A big fat wife every day. So, he finally had enough and he couldn't handle it. So they both agreed to get a divorce. She was apparently unhappy as well. Luckily, since she was working from home since 2020, she was able to keep her job and take the baby with her and get a brand new place, leaving my neighbor newly single with a pretty sweet house. And he had this house all to himself. Thing was, at this point, he was getting pretty lonely with such a huge house all to himself. So... He decided to find himself some roommates, not because he needed the money, but because he wanted to turn the place into a party house. So here's the genius thing he did right here. He went onto some app or website to post ads about wanting roommates, you know, like Craigslist or whatever it is. And this is what he put in the ad. He put, we're a successful couple looking for roommates. We have a big house, free this, free that, only $400 a month for a room. Having guests over are okay. We enjoy the nightlife, and we're 420 friendly, looking for preferably college students. The next few days after he posted that, the college student responses started to pour in. He was getting applicants left and right. He immediately threw out all the male applicants and saved the female ones only. He messaged them, got their info, and then stalked their socials. He did this online research to make sure all the chicks he wanted moving in were 100% single. He was looking for females that had that certain look to them, like this type of party look right here. So since he lied in that ad and said he was in a relationship, all the chicks saw this and they could tell he wasn't a creep and they felt safe around him because they thought he was in a relationship. When he did the interviews with the chicks, he simply said that his fiance or his girlfriend or whatever was at work and he had to handle like the meetup or the interview, you know. And then it wasn't until after the chicks moved in that he casually said to them, Oh yeah, by the way, me and my girl broke up so it's just going to be me now. So he had three rocker chicks move in and he paid for all the utilities, all the internet, and all the streaming service. It was a sweet deal to these chicks, you know, it was only $400 for a room and he encouraged all three of these roommates to bring over their friends. So every Friday and Saturday night, they threw a huge bonfire party out in the front yard. And he eventually got to the point where only chicks came over. Anytime a straight male came over, like if one of the chicks had like a friend they were seeing, you know, or something like that, he'd basically figure out a way to sabotage them and kick the dude off the property. And he'd, I, I swear to God, he'd have like 30 chicks over a night college chicks but yeah it was pure 100 percent chicks all the chicks came over wanted him too because he was the almighty homeowner you know they'd say stuff like wow you have such a nice big house for being single you know this type of thing so he bedded all these chicks left and right and within about a year that house became literally a sorority chicks were leaving their dorms and family rented rooms and they were moving to this place i mean at first he had three roommates then he had six then he had nine roommates, and all of a sudden he had 20 roommates, like, out of the blue, because they actually established a sorority there. And this was all because, you know, he had the genius idea to post, like, these Craigslist ads, you know, looking for a roommate, and he knew exactly what to look for. He knew exactly what to look for. He could tell a party chick because, you know, he was there, you know, back when he was in college. He knew what they looked like, and he knew, like, what they dressed like, and 
the look in their eye and like you know what I mean like he could read like a MySpace or a Facebook or an Instagram and he could tell the parties chicks and he could tell who was single so yeah this guy lived the dream so he went from like a horrible dead end marriage depression and he turned that baby around and within a year he was like the CEO of a sorority and he was the only dude there in the whole house and he was banging chicks left and right. Genius. 